Hello, today I am providing you guys with a review of my Samsung 4.7 cubic foot large capacity smart top load washer with active water jet. The model is number is in the description if you want that specific information. Overall, I'm really uh, happy with this washing machine. I don't really have any complaints, but as I go through the specifics, I'll tell you about any concerns or issues I've had with it. I want to talk about some specific things I really love about this washer that set it apart from other washers. And so I'm going to go through those now. One of those is, that you can see right away is the see-through glass window. I really love this feature. You can see right through the bottom. This has been a huge lifesaver actually. <laughs> I added a laundry item that should have been washed on its own initially that I didn't realize was going to bleed. Thanks to having that window, I was able to see very quickly that it was causing the water to turn bright pink and was able to cancel the wash and pull it out and then rinse the clothes and then do my regular cycle and wash that separately. If I hadn't been able to see through, it would have dyed all my other clothes pink. So um, I'm really grateful that I have the window on here. Um, I really like the feature which is advertised with this washer, which is the active water jet. And that is going to come out right here. And I can press this button and it will turn on the water. I'm able to hand wash or um, start washing stains out of clothes and it adds directly into the drum. I like that it's not wasting water. I'll give you a quick look at how this is. I got mine without the agitator. It adds some room. I would say one of my complaints is that it wasn't quite big enough for some of the things I wanted to be able to wash. It is able to handle my king size bedding without a problem. So like my king size comforter was able to be washed with it. Um, I haven't tried any thick winter ones yet, but my king size mattress pad did not fit. It is very plush. It's like three inches thick. It did not fit. It came up to here and would stick out. I would have to flip it after the first wash and it really wasn't getting agitated so it didn't get a good wash i will have to take that elsewhere to be cleaned should i need to do that regularly so that is the only possible complaint if you want to be able to do very big loads like that you will want to get something that bigger than 4.7 cubic feet um one thing that is featured with this washer is the vibration reduction technology. It's come a long way from what it used to. My previous machine was significantly louder. Right now we have this in our basement. The kitchen and the living room is right above it. We would hear it going whenever we would be sitting down to have dinner or watch TV and we'd have to turn things up. Now, this is so quiet, um, at most I could probably just hear when the water is draining out into the sink and that could be fixed by lowering the hose further down. So this is extremely quiet in comparison, especially for how fast um, it turns to wring out the clothes. I think it goes up to 700 RPM. So it's, it's a lot quieter. Um, the other extremely huge win is the uh, Samsung SmartThings app. So the SmartThings app is truly what sets this apart. I would say if you're not interested in using the app, you're going to be actually losing some functionality. And I would say maybe think about another washer. The app allows you to have some extra wash cycles that you don't have access to directly from your control panel here. Um, let's see, 
I'm going to show you some, show you the app, but some of the things that I really like on that app, and here it is on another phone. So I have my favorite set up so that the laundry is directly here. Okay, so I can directly control my washer from here, especially when I make sure I turn on smart control. Now, when I've turned that on, it does lock the lid. That is another weird, um, I don't know if it's a glitch. So you wanna make sure you load this before you've turned it on. You can always turn it back off. That will unlock it. But this is what lets you actually start the wash from your phone. It will also send notifications like this one here that tells you that the status has changed. So I'm going to be washing some towels. And so I'm going to be setting this up or you know what, let's say I don't know what setting I should select. So that's one of the things I like here. If um, you're not sure what setting you should use, I really like the feature called laundry recipe. You can select what you're washing. So I'm gonna select towels. And next, I'm gonna say that they are, they are whites and they're very dirty and there's a lot of them. And I'm gonna get suggestions and it says heavy duty for an hour and 32 minutes. So I can choose to send that directly to the wash. Normally I can just send it. Right now it decided to start it. I'm gonna hit pause. So I'm gonna hit cancel. And that's what you would do if you wanted to cancel a cycle. So these are all the cycles available on your phone app. Not all of these are available here. For example, um, wool or eco cold. Those are not cycles that you can select right here on your um, control panel. Now there are a few things that I consider a pain point that are only available on the control panel that you cannot select as an option for your wash on the app. And I hope that they add it because there are options that I choose quite frequently. And that is delay end and pre-soak. Delay end is so that let's say I load my washer up in the morning. I want it to be done when I get home from work. So you can set everything, add your detergent, and set it so that it ends at a set number of hours, let's say eight hours later. That's when the cycle ends. I can't set that in here. There is no option for that. There is another way to go about getting the similar result, but pre-soak, there is no another, there's no other way to get that within the app you would have to click that physically on the machine in order to get that. Um, so just take note of that. It's not a deal breaker for me because I'm going to be at the machine loading it anyways. Um, I like that um, I could theoretically start the machine from work if I have everything loaded. Or I could have some baskets ready sitting aside and have someone who doesn't, who isn't confident about setting which um, cycle I need or how much, what temperature or how high it is and they can just add it and I can, and I can start it. Um, so those are ones I like. You set the downloaded cycle, whichever one of these you use the most often, whichever one you set it to, that's the one that's going to be here. So when you pick downloaded, that's what's going to be um, chosen. So whenever I go to download it, that means permanent press. Um, so those are some of my favorite features with the app.
Um, another one that you'll want to add that isn't automatically in there, you'll have to download it for the washer, is something called Home Care. It will tell you if your machine needs maintenance and it has user guides. So the other day, it looks like I need to have an update. So excuse me for a second. So the other day, it told me I needed to run a self-clean. Um, right here, it has reset. So it tells me I need a self-clean after 20 washes and it has reset. I last cleaned it four days ago. Um, it tells me how often I've used it and total usage. So if I needed to um, change the pump filter or clean it, it has steps on how to do that, which is really helpful. My only complaint with this one here that I noticed is unique to the washer is that it does note that it may not be exactly where your pump filter is located. And I know in this case, my pump filter is not located there because it's not a front load washer. So when that time comes, I will need to call them for additional uh, guidance. So I wish it was un like specific to my model since they have all that information, but I'm really uh, appreciative of that information regardless. And it's been um, very helpful because I'm not really good about keeping on top of running myself clean, even though it's super easy. So um, I will go through my dryer review in the other video, but having a matching set that can work compatibly is to your advantage. And I'll go over that in the dryer because they can communicate on your wash, uh, on your wash cycle. Um, but that is my review. Um, overall, I'm really happy again. Um, I do want to also add one more thing. Setting up the smart app, the smart things app was relatively easy for someone who is generally tech savvy. If you're not tech savvy and you struggle with technology and more complex application setups, it might you might struggle a little. There are some features that are a lot a little harder to get to within the app, so you might need some assistance with getting it set up to the optimal amount of to be able to take full advantage of it. So just make sure if you do struggle, you have someone there to help you. But otherwise, once you've got it set up, it's very easy to use. I do want to share, I did participate in the Insider's Laundry, Samsung Laundry 2023 program. So I did get this at a discount. I did pay for it, but I got it at a discount in exchange for my honest review. And so I've been honest with you guys on my experience here. I hope that, that you found this helpful and um, thank you for your time. Bye.